Not once did I say you shouldn't buy WWE 2K24 itself, because let's be real here for a moment. I'm hyped for the game. The game looks incredibly promising compared to other years. The only thing I have a problem with is the DLC and season passes, but that's a whole other thing. This year's game has more than 200 superstars. Standard shipping, that's what it comes with. Last year came with a good portion. It was a good amount. But this year, obviously, you have all of the DLC characters from last year in base game. And it's a huge roster. So if you didn't get DLCs last year, like myself, you've got them in the game this year. And that's the same every year going forward until they remove superstars. The game looks promising. Very promising. Hopefully, online works well and not broken like every other year, considering they're bringing back Royal Rumble into online. Hopefully, they've done something cool with my faction. Not a lot of people like that. I'm... Personally, one of the ones that enjoys it, and I find that when I'm done making all my dream matches or ha had my fun on exhibition, that's where I spend most of my time because I'm into my collectathon things. I used to play FIFA, for Christ's sake. I want all the cards. What could it do with? It could do with some sort of transfer market of some sort instead of just opening the packs and if you get the same thing, it's gone. You should be able to like sell it or something with the new game modes that I still don't believe are new. The game modes that are here though, the casket match being there, that's actually a first in general I think because it used to be buried alive which is kind of the same but a different twist in the name. You got the gauntlet match back from past games whenever it was, it was probably like 2k14 maybe Smackdown versus Raw. That looks good, I've seen one clip of it that you can do apparently a 1 versus 30 gauntlet which is pretty damn cool and i'll probably find myself on there a lot doing some sort of challenge you've got the ambulance match a lot of people are going to enjoy that off i'll get myself on there quite a few times probably when i'm watching the pay-per-views with jamie i'll probably find myself going to the backstage area a lot to finish the match there because i think that's a lot cooler that you can actually go back there and do it Hopefully, that's how it works. I'm not entirely sure if you can just go backstage or you have to start the match in backstage. I don't know. Special guest referee. Of course, apparently the mechanics have been tweaked and fixed compared to what it was when it was first in the game like 10 years ago. It looks fun. It looks promising. I don't remember this, but apparently in 2K14, the wrestlers couldn't even wear guest referee shirts. I have been told this overall the game looks really good and in no way do i think you shouldn't buy the game i'm getting the game as soon as it releases i'm just not getting early access the only thing that you get from the bigger editions are the season pass which personally i never buy so anyone that gets offended by the fact that that's the case i i don't know what to tell you it's just not worth it in my opinion. The roster unlock part of the season pass. I wish I could get behind it because it's a time saver. If you think about it, it is genuinely an unlock all cheat from years and years back with it being monetized that you have to pay to use a cheat code. That's the way I see it. And as much as I would like to save my time and get that pack instead of unlocking everything, I'm not going to spend the extra money to do it. I don't think it was the case this year, but they've locked the showcase unlocks behind the WrestleMania 40. The showcase unlocks is a whole nother cheat code this year round. This isn't about the bad. If, if you missed this year's game, 2K23, 2K24 is a good one to jump back in on. 2K22 was a really good game to jump in on. I did the same thing where I bought the, the next year's game. If I had took that break and not done 2K23, I would have been jumping at 2K24 with the different game modes. The roster size as a whole. The 40 years of WrestleMania. Some people don't care about the showcase mode. I'm one of these that enjoys it. But I am disappointed with the fact it's not 40 matches at least. Because it's 40 years of WrestleMania and we're getting 21 matches and I'm pretty sure a couple of them are from the same WrestleMania. Doesn't really make sense to me, but there's that. That's the only takeaway from that one. I really hope online modes work because I'll spend a lot of time on there. I wish there was crossplay, but as a whole, it looks incredibly promising. And even though I don't agree with season passes and DLC, this year's DLC looks pretty good. So if you're into your DLCs, you're going to have a good time paying for those superstars that should already be in the game but you know whatever they'll be in next year's but overall i've got to give a massive thumbs up i have no real bad say of the game until obviously i play it it could completely change my mind but i don't think it will it looks really fun the camera angles 
being there is is nice that that's back for the Royal Rumble especially. Everything about the game looks really good. How do you think 2K24 is going to be? Do you think it's going to be fun? It's literally a week away now and I'm pretty excited. But that's about it. I just wanted to speak for a little bit. See ya.